South Korea's defense minister has addressed the situation surrounding a North Korean fishing boat that crossed into South Korean waters undetected for more than three days until a civilian report brought the military's attention. This comes amid mounting concerns and criticism over possible loopholes in the military's maritime surveillance capabilities. Our Kim ji yeon reports. During a biannual meeting of some 150 top commanders on Wednesday, South Korea's defense minister Chung Young Do said the situation involving a North Korean boat that crossed into South Korean waters last week undetected was a very grave situation and called for proactive measures to prevent a similar incident from happening again. Chung added those responsible will be reprimanded, reversing the military's previous stance on Monday that its overall coastal and maritime defense operations had proceeded normally at the time, and that existing surveillance systems detecting small wooden boats often have some limits depending on weather and other conditions. Even if the military has done 100 good deeds, if there's a loophole in security operations, the military will lose the public's trust. Rather than blaming its equipment, the military should tighten its operational and work discipline. According to a military official, the boat first crossed the de facto maritime demarcation line, the Northern Limit Line, at 9 p.m. last Wednesday, arriving near the eastern island of Ulungdo at 6 a.m. on Thursday and stayed adrift there due to bad weather. The crew turned off its boat engine Friday night and waited in the water some three nautical miles away from South Korea's eastern port of Samchok until the sun came up the next day. The boat reached Samchuk shore at 6.22 a.m. the following day on Saturday. One of the fishermen even asked South Korean passerby to lend him a cell phone to reach an aunt living in Seoul after stating they came from the north. A military official arrived at the scene at 7.35 a.m. Saturday, more than an hour since the boat first arrived ashore, in which it says officials saw the Coast Guard towing the boat away. Local media reported that the North Koreans waited until the early hours of dawn when South Korean fishermen started to head out to sea, afraid if they attempted to land in South Korean territory during nighttime, they would be detected. Two out of four North Korean fishermen have stated they've wanted to defect to the South. Kim Jian, Arirang News.